Hey YouTube, how's it going? So today I noticed an article on the Wall Street Journal about the whole UVA rape allegation. I'll link the article in the description, but the point of it was just explaining how the Rolling Stones retracted the article, A Rape on Campus, and how the managing editor of the Rolling Stone is saying it's her own fault. Also, the reporter who broke the story and Mr. Dana, the editor, are both staying at the paper and are continuing to write for them. Basically, how I feel about this is that I really think that it's on the reporter, not on Dana, the editor. But either way, I think that they shouldn't lose their jobs for this. Yeah, it was really the wrong thing to do. And I feel for those in the fraternity who have been slandered and had their frat host damaged by protesters. But I really do see this as an honest mistake. Probably, probably, Ederly just thought she had a really big story and that it would just prop up her career. So she just tried to run the story as quickly as possible. And obviously, she was wrong, and now she's apologized. She said, uh... Quote, reporting on rape has unique challenges, but the journalist still has the responsibility to get it right. I hope that my mistakes in reporting this story do not silence the voices of victims that need to be heard. End quote. Um, yeah, I really, like, the apology is fine, yeah, but I really think she should have addressed the actual damage she caused, not just the, uh, how the next victims will not be as valid. I think she should have addressed how... The frat house is damaged by all these protesters who's going crazy about false uh, reporting. And t I do see it as an honest, an honest mistake, though. Like, uh, in the article, it said that her biggest mistake was not looking into the three friends that Jackie supposedly told about her rape. And obviously, not verifying the story was actually true was really bad. And I think she also should have investigated more into the supposed racist, rapists and made sure they actually existed. In any case, there you go. Let me know what you guys think about the journalist. Should she keep writing for the Rolling Stone, or do you think she should have been quit or fired? Also, what do you think about the editor claiming responsibility for it? Either way, put it in the comments. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.